What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, I do have to apologize. This is going to be, once again, some old gameplay on Battlefield 2042. Today's topic will be about Battlefield, and I'm going to be talking about it very shortly, but sadly, I tried to live stream this game the other day so I can get some more footage, more recent footage, of course, and it's just, it's completely unplayable. It's out of this world. Now, first, before I start ranting and wasting more of your guys' time, if you guys do want to check out any of my live streams and see me get pissed off live and in action on Battlefield, by all means, go to my live stream. The link to that stuff is down in the description. I live stream every single day. So if you guys want to be a part of that stuff, like I said, go down to the description, check it all out. And also, all my other social medias are down there, like Twitter and Discord and stuff like that. But I tried my hardest for three hours to get footage of Battlefield 2042. I was praying that, you know what, maybe the last time I streamed this game, it was just, you know... Uh, it was just a flaw, you know, maybe it was something going on with the servers or something like that. No, three hours. I could not get into a game with less than 200 ping for the whole time at all. And yes, sometimes the ping would bounce back to 30 ping and stuff like that. And then 40 ping and then go up to 50 ping, but it went right back up. It'll go to 30 to 100, down to 40, up to 200, down to 60, and then back to 100, then down to 20 again. It's like nothing is more obnoxious than inconsistent ping. And then on top of the inconsistent ping, even when I do get a good connection lobby, the optimization of this game is so poor, and the amount of effort that has been put into this game is so minimal, that even when good connection is a thing, I am still rubber banding 24-7 just because the game doesn't function correctly. You want to know what I would do if I worked at DICE, or if I was a developer? who worked on Battlefield 2042, right now, after winter break, I would go ahead and put together a note, a message, a letter, discussing everything that's going to be helped in the future of this game, what their main priorities are, and also what to expect over the next upcoming months when it comes to Battlefield 2042. That's what I would personally do, but guess what we got? Radio silence. Again, the game is breaking worse and worse and worse every single day. And we can't even get one word from the development team. Now, there is a head developer over there at DICE that does listen a lot on Twitter 24-7. He responds a lot. But again, that just comes down to the bugs and the glitches and stuff like that. Which we as the Battlefield community have been dealing with for years and years and years and years and years. Bugs and glitches aren't even the biggest factor of why this game is just an absolute crap show. Because again, we're used to that stuff. We're accustomed to that stuff. We deal with it all the time with every single Battlefield release. It's nothing new. The problem here is the atmosphere that this game builds and also just the core fundamentals of the game alone. It's actually kind of funny because over on Twitter, I saw a post by uh, Critical Chris. He went ahead and said, the New Year's statement every Battlefield fan wants to see. And he also puts out that this isn't real. So anybody that thinks this might be, you know, a true statement, it's not. This is, you know, a fan-made statement here. But in, with all honesty, this is exactly what we all wanted to see. It goes ahead and says, Happy New Year, no pets. We have heard your feedback loud and clear, which we are currently working with to make Battlefield 2042 the best game it could possibly be for its community. For starters, we have decided to bring back the traditional class system, helping to provide players with more defined roles and rewarding team play. We'll also be implementing several series features missing at launch, such as scoreboard, server browser, squad options, VoIP, and more. To better reflect the game's tone and lore, we'll be reworking the end of round segment, removing specialist appearances, and changing the in-game voice lines to better suit the game's mature theme. Keep in mind, MATURE! MATURE THEME! Battlefields are rated M game, MATURE THEME! As part of the new lore, all of the current specialists will be killed off in a horrific explosion <laughs> whilst taking a group selfie. Yes! <laughs> Battle-hardened soldiers will replace them on the field. All of these changes and more will be made in a substantial update coming soon. We also have plans to rework the maps, adding more cover and terrain to formation to improve infantry flow, and this will arrive in a separate update arriving within the next few months. This is just the beginning, as we'll be improving and advancing Battlefield 2042 with more bugs, fixes, uh, QOL additions, and other features as the year progresses. We look forward to launch Season 1 in the near future, and we will continue to support the game with all our passion moving forwards. DICE, hear me out here. If you guys are so tired of hearing the community complain non-stop about this game, this is all you had to say. And it doesn't take any work at all to put something like this together. I guarantee it took this guy about five minutes, probably even three total minutes, to go ahead and put together this whole letter. And he has touched upon pretty much every single problem that the core community is having right now. If you guys put this letter out and you were very truthful about it, this would resolve everything. There would not be a single person complaining anymore about your title. Because yes, there are so many bugs and glitches and problems to be fixed when it comes to Battlefield 2042. The list just absolutely never ends. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the 
core experience of Battlefield 2042, the lore and the story behind this game. It's mixed everywhere. The game simply has no identity. It doesn't feel like a Battlefield game. And also, like I said, the characters and the lore behind it strays it even more away from a Battlefield vibe. It's starting to feel like Apex Legends now, which it shouldn't. I mean, I don't mind the gunplay and the movement and stuff like that, but when it comes down to the characters and the storyline behind the game, Apex Legends is not the game to compare to Battlefield. You know what I'm saying? They're two completely different beasts with two completely different player bases. So to bring in that cartoony, goofy atmosphere of Apex Legends into a Battlefield game, it doesn't fit. I don't know why you need us to scream this at you. You would think that if you're a Battlefield fan, or if you developed Battlefield games, it'll be clear as day that having a cartoony catchphrase line and having a bunch of goofy-ass specialists wouldn't fit in a Battlefield game, but apparently they need the community to scream this at them. I just don't understand why we, the community, have to come up with something like this. We have to come out with the good words for the developers and tell them how to treat a human being. You know, this isn't just you no know, game development. This is just, you know, social interactions. This is just you talking with other people and trying to settle them down. It's not that difficult. I've worked in customer service my whole life. And video game design is probably about the same exact thing because you have a bunch of people, like us, ranting, complaining, or even talking positive about their game. You have tons of feedback on the internet. That's all you gotta look at. And you can see exactly what is going on in your game. It's not hard to manage. But it's almost like they just completely back down when a bunch of us are just coming at them with problems and things that we need to discuss about. Anger comes from people who have been ignored for way too long. When something is resolved instantly, or if something is just said instantly, it doesn't even have to be resolved, it just has to be addressed, people don't get as angry, they don't get as feisty. But when they're ignored, and they are, you know, purposely ignored, it's not like we're stupid and we think that, you know, they just maybe didn't see it or something, no. They are purposely ignoring the community. When it's something like that, and it's very obvious to see, that is when we get angry like this. I mean, for the love of God, that's just something that you learn as a kid. You know, it's not something that you learn later in life. No, you learn at a young age that when you're spoken to, you should respond back. It's very disrespectful to just straight up ignore someone and push them aside. That shows no respect. And again, a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, they're in the gaming industry. It's just a bunch of people complaining about their game. Why should they even, you know, show respect to them or talk back to them? I mean, shoot, every job that I worked in customer service with people, that's what you have to do. It's, just, it's your job to do that. You give the company that you're working for bad reputation when you just sit there and ignore them 24-7. If it's your own business, then yeah, do as you please. But when you're representing someone else, you don't want that to be the way that you rub off on other individuals. As someone who's just going to ignore every single problem, and every time someone tries to speak to them, they push them aside and make them feel stupid. I have dealt with one too many angry customers, super duper pissed angry customers, I mean kicking down doors, slapping everything off desks, punching tables and stuff, I mean super pissed off people, and I don't just straight up, you know, just walk away, or you know, you have to talk to the people, you interact, and if they continue to act like that, even after you try to defuse the situation and try to clarify things, then yeah, go ahead, leave, ignore them, push them away. But when you have us, the community, just screaming at the top of our lungs that this Battlefield game needs massive fixes and then continuously being ignored, I mean, again, they focus on the bugs and the glitches and stuff like that, but not once are they even speaking upon the lore of this game. The only people who spoke about that is the, the Halo guy, the person that they hired from the Halo universe to work on Battlefield's game here. He's the only person who talks about it, but every other person apparently loves the direction that this game is taking. I mean, shoot, the developers said that they even love the new scoreboard system where you can't even see anybody on the scoreboard and what their stats are. They just don't care about what we have to say. And then as we continue to address the problems and talk about things that we don't enjoy and we get ignored more and more and more, so we get more angry and more angry and more angry because we keep getting pushed aside instead of being responded to, even if it's a negative response, a response is a response in general, it doesn't matter, as long as we get one, a human being will still be happy. But as we get angrier because we're not being talked to, then we get accused of being, you know, toxic fans, toxic individuals. We are just, you know, we're just negative space for Battlefield and we should just leave the game. 
because we've been ignored every five seconds. Look, man, whoever wrote this message here that I read off a little bit earlier, that's who needs to be in charge of everything over at DICE when it comes to social media and stuff like that. That's who needs to be talking to us because, my God, whoever's in charge right now to discuss everything that's going on with the future of this franchise is not doing that good of a job because we have no idea what's coming. We don't know about content. We don't even have a roadmap for when the game is going to be properly optimized. We know nothing. All I want is to be spoken to, addressed, and just be kept in the loop when it comes to Battlefield 2042. Because a lot of us are just, you know, passionate Battlefield fans that want to see a better title. But we're not being treated like fans at all. And, you know, it really sucks at the end of the day. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave like, bombs, hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, want to chat me this too, so I have a Twitter and Discord, both listed in the down description. And also, want to catch me live streaming some video games and do over on Twitch. Link that's in the description as well. But, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.